Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all will be fine. Today, we'll start with the chapter 13 that is transport. You people have already learnt about chapter transport in your class 3rd and class 4th. And in class 5th, we will learn about chapter transport in detail. In this chapter, we will learn about roadways, railways, waterways and airways. But before we start with the chapter, I just want to discuss few terms with you all. And the first term is transport, which means means to carry people and goods from one place to another. For example, airways, roadways, waterways. Second term is domesticate, trained to live with humans. For example, some people have domesticated horses, other have domesticated dogs. The third term, raw material, basic material required to make a new product. For example, to make sugar, we need sugarcane as the raw material. And the last term is industry, which means a large factory where particular type of goods are produced. For example, cottage industry. Let us discuss few difficult words which you will read in the chapter today. And the first one is Sumerians, people of Mesopotamia, efficient, working well, global phenomenon, Universal happening, cheap, less expensive. Now, take out your social studies book and open it on page number 88. Chapter 13, Transport. All of you have to write on the term of transport. That is, means to carry goods and people from one place to another. Let us start reading of chapter Man always wanted to move from one place to another. Along with him, he also wanted to move things. The movement of people and things from one place to another is called transportation. Put this line in brackets. The Sumerians were first to discover that the potter's wheel could be turned upright and rolled. Mark the meaning of Sumerians, people of Mesopotamia. And discover means to find out. Since ancient times, man wanted to move from one place to another in search of food, water, shelter and clothing. Early men moved from one place to another on foot. Then people started domesticating animals for their use to move from one place to another. And then Sumerians were first to discover wheel. Wheel which we see today is totally different from the wheel which was discovered by the Sumerians as it was made up of clay and nowadays wheel is made up of rubber. Here you people can see potter's wheel which was turned upside down and rolled by the Sumerians. And here you people can see the evolution of the wheel, starting from the left and going towards the right. They also realized that other things could be attached to this rolling piece and be converted into moving object. Thus, the wheel was born. Horses were the first animals to be domesticated to pull carts. Mark the meaning of domesticated? Trained to live with humans. In simple words, people realized that this piece can be converted into moving object. Invention of wheel led to the discovery of modern transport system. Later, man invented a chariot. Combining the horse and the wheel. About 300 years ago, a steam engine was first invented by Nikomen. But it was the steam engine designed by James Watt, mark this word, which became popular. Later engines which could run on diesel and electricity were invented. 
Today, with the invention of aeroplanes and fast moving trains, the world has become a very small. In other words, steam engine was invented by Newcomen, but the steam engine that we are using now was made by James Watt. And with passage of time, engines which could run on electricity and diesel were also invented. In this picture, you people can see one of the early steam engines. Here you people can see on the right hand side, James Watt and on the left we have steam engine which was invented by James Watt. Now you people can see a diesel train engine. Let us read the next paragraph now. In the present day world, it has become necessary to have fast and efficient means of transportation. Especially with trade becoming a global phenomenon, both the raw materials and finished products need to be moved from one place to another as quickly as possible. Now you people can mark the important meanings. Necessary which means important. Efficient which means working well. Global phenomenon which means universal happening. Raw material, basic material required to make a new product. These days to have business with other countries we need to go from one place to another. And to move from one place to another we need to have efficient and fast means of transportation so that we can transfer our raw material and finished products from one place to another quickly and as soon as possible here you people can see they have loaded trucks to transport goods from one place to another one more picture you people can see where they have loaded goods so that they can be transferred, transported from one place to another. Let us read the next paragraph. The means of transport of a country depends upon the requirement and geography of that country. Mark the meaning of requirement, need and geography of earth's surface. Now, means of transport also depends upon need and Type of landform which is in that area. As if you want to cross a water body, you can use any of the water transport or you can use air transport to cross it easily. Now, let us suppose you want to go through a desert. Here you need any means of land transport so that you can cross it easily. In simple words, in hilly areas, we have narrow tracks and in plain areas, we have broad tracks so that trains can run efficiently on the tracks. Now, we need transportation that is efficient and cheap to take the raw materials to the industries and to bring finished products to the market. For this, we need different types of Transport for different purposes. First of all, write down the meaning of cheap, that is less expensive. Industry, a factory in which particular goods are produced. Now, I will explain you with an example. You all know the wheat has been produced in the field. Now, we need to transport wheat to the particular industry so that it can be converted into finished product. To transport wheat to industry, we need some means of transportation. And then from industry to the market, we need some means of transportation. All these means of transportation, either it can be a truck or a trolley, we need it to transfer it. In other words, we need affordable and organized means of transportation so that goods and people can be transported from one place to another. The mode in transport system can be grouped as land, water and air transport. 
we will discuss different modes of transport that is land, water and air. Means of transport that run on land is known as land transport. For example, cars, buses. Means of transport that run on the water is known as water transport. For example, boats, ships. Means of transport that run in the air is known as air transport. For example, aeroplanes, helicopters. Now, you all have to identify that which type of transport is it? Land, water or air? Your today's homework is to read the chapter again and write down the terms on copy. Thank you.